in the Senate. Um, there, for those of you who have packets, uh, we've detailed that for you as well as provided the actual legislation. But um, there's five pieces of legislation. The first is uh, uh, kind of an extension off the work that we've done with the SIDS awareness piece. Um, and it's an update to Claire's law and uh, requiring safe sleep education. So now, before discharge from a hospital or birthing center, uh, parents will receive actual education on safe sleep in addition to the shaken baby syndrome that Claire's Law um, originally codified. Um, it's also going to require these institute, healthcare institutions to screen to ensure that um, these families do have a safe sleeping location for their baby, very much in the same way that the, many of them screen for car seats before being discharged and making sure that that's not an impediment to a child uh, reaching its first, his first birthday. Uh, the second is Senate Bill 277, which is an infant mortality commission. And honestly, I just think when you're dealing with a problem as big as this, you have to be willing to shout it from the, from the uh, rooftops. And this is our way to bring all of the partners together to, to regularly dialogue on this subject, to do a full inventory not only of state resources and state programs, but to try to engage the local programs so we have an understanding of what's happening there and where there might be some opportunities for us to try to get these local programs to scale to start driving those numbers. Uh, the third piece is Senate Bill 278, and this has to do with death scene investigation. And again, this is another extension of the SIDS legislation that uh, Charlita and I passed um, just uh, last fall. And you know what we've learned through this entire process is that having access to good data is crucial. And so requiring proper death scene investigation so that we can have the data to do what we need to do to set policy, to set procedure, to drive those numbers down uh, is, is critical. Uh, the fourth piece is uh, Senate Bill 279, and this is engaging our federally qualified health centers or lookalikes in a different way. You know, we know that these are very efficient operations in providing access and resources to a lot of people in the state. And we're asking them to participate with us in a pilot pro uh, program um, to do some centering pregnancy so um, we can engage them in these kinds of efforts to lower infant mortality. And the final piece of legislation is Senate Bill 280. And Senate Bill 280 is, is um, the big piece that um, is really going to put the impetus uh, and requirement around postpartum care management, um, as well as provide some opportunities for, um, for um, reimbursement and resources for what's you know, non-Medicaid uh, uh, services. And so as Charlita and I toured around the state, uh, including um, learning more about the Moms-to-Be program that Dr. Gabby uh, is a champion for, uh, what became apparent to us is the sustainability of these programs. And so you know, what we now know is there's really good evidence-based strategies to deal with uh, infant mortality. And when we're talking about individuals, many who are in this room, we, we can see very good results, yet our infant mortality rate is still abysmal. And so the question for us, I think as a state, is to say, how can we take these evidence-based practices, how can we, we know that the local involvement of these programs is probably the single most defining uh, um, factor in, a, in the success of the program, but how can we leverage the state's resources in a way that allows you, Dr. Gabby, to continue to do your work with more and more people that we already know can use the resources. Um, this is an area where we know people, the, the people who need the resources, we just need to be able to get them the programs. And so this is a $25 million investment in um, uh, helping programs like this that are evidence-based with great data uh, to, to get to a larger scale. So that in a nutshell is kind of where, you know, what Charlita and I have been thinking for this first round. 
Um, this won't, this certainly won't be the end of this conversation, and there's others that we're having uh, on, on some other issues related to this too. Um, but I think that it's only appropriate now that I turn it over to Dr. Gabby because um, mo those of you who know her know she's just a dynamo, and <laughs> you only have to talk to her for five minutes before you want to help her help moms and babies.